Right, quick video on this black line inverter 460, two kilowatt, the 4600 series. So it'll look something like this. Now, what was happening with it is you would pull the cord and it would start for two, two seconds and cut back out. So of course, what is the issue? What's the problem? How are we gonna, how are we gonna sort this out? So what you should be doing is you undo the screws there okay and then on the carburetor you can see a screw there okay and it's got a hose and it dumps the, the sort um the actual petrol on the ground is at the end of the season or when you're not using it is you open this screw and drain the remaining fuel out of this bit here and then it will stop it from uh, gooing up okay so what i found is that i've had to open this up and it was all gooed up okay so we'll put um some pictures down that i took a picture of but basically i mean i i had run this and then put it away in the in the shed for two or three years and it wouldn't start so it was doing this two second start so what i've had to do okay is i've undone this this knot here okay and then this comes out okay and what you do is you, you clean it all out and then inside just where this nut is there there's a brass fitting okay and you can unscrew that with a screwdriver okay or what you've got to do is you've got to get some of this this thin wire here and poke it through okay so just poke it through the little brass thing that's inside there okay and then clean the bottom out which is what i did with some wire wall reassemble it okay and then it just started so uh that's what the problem or issue was on this uh inverter okay and it's the black line inverter 4600 and it's the two kilowatt version there are different versions but if your uh, carburetor is here okay again you want to do the nut make sure there's no fuel in it pour the fuel out of course, you can release the fuel with the screw that we were talking about there. Whip it out, clean the nut up, clean the bottom piece up. But remember, there's a brass nut, okay, that's in the middle. And we um, used our wire wool to clean it. And also this here, okay. And I've used this really fine screwdriver to get it out. Cleaned it up. Working now absolutely great. So let's we'll see if we can get it to start again. Turn that on. Hopefully we'll just start her up. Fixed. Here's a picture of it undone. There's like a float switch there. And if you look on the bottom, here is the brass thing that's blocked up. Clean that out, you shouldn't have any problems. And uh, here we are running now, got the two kilowatt kettle on. So it's um, it's at its maximum because it's a two kilowatt um, inverter. And as you can see, it's running spot on now. So just listen now, we're at the end of the video. It just kicks down a gear as the kettle boils. Cheers.